Back it down, it rolls back to the defenseman, Corson Kuhlmans. About to head to the Team Canada West selection camp in Calgary with teammates Ethan Lund and Braden Krieger hoping to make the World Junior A Challenge for Canada West. Here's Benoit, he shoots, he scores! First as a bandit for Marc Antoine Benoit as he finds a puck in the far corner, brings it out into the right circle. A light wrist shot, Ken, that I'm not sure if Hearn was able to squeeze it a bit or not, but for Benoit, his first as a bandit and gives them a 1-0 lead. I think it fooled him. I'm not sure if it caught a piece of the defender or he just underplayed it. It was a bit of a knuckler, but a great play by Ben. Weeks. Fennig moves it ahead for Martin. Back to Fennig. Breakaway. Saved by Charleston. The best. Ben get check. a line change. Too many, guys, Too on many guys on the ice. And that's what the crowd is hollering right now as the puck bounces off the top of Charleston's net. No one has noticed that out of the box. It's a breakaway the other way for Zonneveld. Zonneveld. What a play by Corson Kuhlman's on the back check. He pokes it away. In the near corner for Hernandez. Hernandez still has it. Behind the net for Krieger. He's got Lee in front. Goes to Hernandez. Shoots. Scores! 2-0 Brooks. A power play goal from Randy Hernandez. A great pass from behind the net from Krieger. And with 147 left in the first, Brooks has doubled their lead. Hernandez just puts it into the wide open net. Krieger saucers it over the back of the net. Uh, the opposite direction. Those misses are guys because they just have so little room. Stretch pass to risk up the right wing, catching the bandits on a change. Breakaway, great job by DeSico to race back and not give risk. Centering feed to Anderson on a two-on-one. Backhand shot, and they missed the backdoor feed there to Heemstra. That have never been to the Memorial Arena here in Drum. There's four score clocks in this arena in each corner. There's a dragon open down the ice. Hillman gets it to him. It's risk. A breakaway, shoots. He misses completely. That's by Regal, but he gets it behind the bandit net. Phillips, he collides with Buds, but Thank you. Dragons have it. Rock Truman ahead to his brother Scout. He's checked by Sean Chisholm. He can risk off the draw. He's going to drive to the net. It comes off. I don't know if he ever got a shot off as it's poked away by Charleston. Charleston, though, I think he's going to call him here. Yeah, he's going to call a penalty as he slid across and the net came off. So. Suck. Wah has it tied up in the corner. Buds gets it back to the point for Anderson. Anderson shoots, scores. Power play goal for the Drumheller Dragons on the backdoor tap-in. Left wing for Hernandez. Back to Lee. In all alone, he shoots. A glove saved by a Hearn. In tight was the bandit. Like that anymore. No. <laughs> and you get further away from it every day, just to let you know. We got a penalty coming up here off the draws. The puck lands in the net. It's tipped in. The goal light has Good gone. pass to Jake Lee. Two on one for Krieger. Krieger shoots and he misses. I'm not sure if Ahern got a stick of Heemstra. The stick was caught in the, the holding of the blade. As Benoit breaks in up the right wing, he moves in a shot. Scores! Power play goal. Marc Antoine Benoit, his second of the night, makes it 3 1 Brooks. Three minutes and 40 seconds into the third. Benoit just goes hard to the net, collects up his own rebound, but he scores what I'd like to call bulldozer goals. He's Anderson leaves for Rock Truman. Slap shot on the one-timer. Save Charles. Thomas who carries in up the right wing. Thomas back to McCarr. He's tied up by Martin. That's going to be a penalty against the Dragons. Lose to Rigo in the slot. Toe drag still has it to Benoit. One-timer, and I think Ahern got a piece of it. Comes risk on a one-on-one -on -one for Drum. Back to Martin. Shot saved by Charleston. He squeezes at it. It comes out in front to Heindel. Let's one go. Charleston the save. It was there for Buds in midair. The net is knocked off. On the back check with nine minutes to play. Kuhlman's through the middle to Jake Lee. Lee's got an open winger. It's Hernandez on the right side. Hernandez moves in. Backdoor tap in. Scores! Krieger makes it four. To Lee, who had had a breakaway, but here they come. Scout Truman over to Rock. The left circle getting a stick on it was abandoned as and it goes. Can't clear off the draw. Martin keeps it in. Anderson at the far point. In the corner for Ott. In front for Risk. Shoots. Scores! I think Charleston's net was off. The net is definitely off the left post. The ref's counting it. It's native ahead to Pappas. Pappas picked off by Buds. He gets rocked by Fifth Wah. Open ice hit that was completely That's a clean. clean. Hit. And then Robinson retaliates by That's pulling a... over Fifth Wah, who didn't have the puck. And that is just a, a, a terrible penalty here for Robinson, which he should be getting a penalty here because that was a clean hit from Wah. That's a great hit. It's a left. good. Chipped. 
out. No, the linesman said that stayed in, but it doesn't matter. The final seconds tick off. The Brooks Bandits win 4-2 the final, and they stay perfect against the Dragons this year in four outings. They'll meet again Wednesday in Brooks. A real solid hockey game for the Bandits, uh, especially for Pierce Charles.